Hi, I'm Glenn with Crimson Lotus Tea. This is a product that we call Planet Jingmai. It's a highly compressed Sheng Pu'er tea ball. It's made from spring 2014 material from the Jingmai area. Jingmai is a Pu'er tea growing region in the southwest corner of China, close to the border of uh, Burma. And this is a very high quality tea. It's made from uh, ancient tree material, 300 years old of the trees. Uh, it's an entirely handmade product. It's hand-picked, hand-processed, sun-dried. These have been hand-rolled and, and hand-wrapped. It's a very delicious tea, very thick, honey aroma, long-lasting. You can brew it many times. Uh, it can be a little difficult to brew unless you know a couple tricks, and we're going to try and teach you that today. The difficulty in brewing these is that you're not going to get the full flavor until all the leaf is uncompressed. Uh, it's tricky because these are, are very highly compressed. This is 8 grams of leaf and this is full leaf. It's not, a, it's not dust and it's not a cut grade leaf. Uh, it's very high quality, full, full leaves and buds. And so I'm going to show you how we open them up before, uh, before we even start, start brewing them. Uh, you really don't want to use a, a, a tea knife because um, it is very highly compressed. It's very easy to uh, hurt yourself. You're going to crush the leaf. You're not going to get the uh, really good flavor out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to brew it into uh, in the Skywon. And I'll show you how we do that. You're going to want to use boiling water or water as close to boiling as possible. And one of the first tricks is to pour directly onto the tea ball from a little height and, and do it slowly. You can see already how it's starting to open up a little bit. Then with the, uh, the Guy Wan lid, I like to push the ball around a little bit. Um, it's just helping to uh, get some of the water to, uh, to penetrate inside of the surface. And then we let this sit for about 30 seconds. Um, after 30 seconds, you can uh, pour it out. Uh, this is the step where if you have tea pets, they are probably a little thirsty. You can just pour it directly onto them. What you want to do now is, is poke it again. It's still going to be pretty, pretty heavily compressed, so we're actually probably going to let it sit here for for about five minutes. It's going to let um, the moisture absorb into the tea ball, make it easier to open up. As you can see, the tea ball is now starting to, to open up. Uh, it's getting a little bit softer and it's setting off its outer layers. Uh, what we're going to do now is basically what we did the very first time. Take your water uh, right off of a uh, boil and give it another uh, long direct stream right over the top of it. Just helps to, to helps to, to soften it up, especially if you can drop the water from a little a uh, little bit of height. We're gonna let it steep again for 30 seconds, and um, push it a little bit more with the uh, with the guy wand. Move it around. You really want to give the uh, the outer leaves a chance to uh, to open up. Uh, we're going to pour this wash off again after about 30 seconds. If you look inside of the guy one now, the ball is, is largely largely uncompressed. Um, there's still a little uh, it's still a little stiff in the center. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it um, we're gonna let it sit for uh, another five minutes and just open up a little bit more. At this point, the tea ball is almost uh, completely uncompressed. You can still see it's just a little uh, a little stiff there uh, there right in the center. So the last thing we're gonna do is just do one more slow controlled pour directly onto the tea ball. We're going to do a long steep of about 30 seconds, but um, you won't discard that. You can actually drink it. Yeah, you can really, 
from this angle get a good idea of how much uh, leaf is actually in there. Those balls are very highly compressed, and it will it'll fill fill an entire guy one. That's really all it takes to open these leaves up for steeping. Generally, I will lower the steeping times back down around uh, 10 or 15 seconds and start off from there. Brew with it like I would any other uh, shung pour. Of course, uh, this is pu'er tea, and it's just like most other teas. If you find a way that you want to brew it and you like to brew it that way, feel free. Um, just take these uh, brewing guidelines as just that a guideline, and you can brew tea however you like. As long as you like the taste of it, you're brewing it the right way, uh, as far as I'm concerned. When I did brew it a, a couple minutes ago, that second wash, the second wash is perfectly viable for drinking. It's, uh, it's still quite delicious at that stage, and um, you're more than welcome to, to drink that, or you can discard it and, and go with how we did it. Um, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little lesson on uh, how to brew Planet Jingmai. Uh, pick some up from our site, crimsonlotustea.com. Um, thank you for watching. Happy steeping.